some suggestions for books for your sensorial um, teaching um, for your child. So I have this one for toddlers. It's really fun. It looks like a ladybug. There's scrunchy sounds coming from the wings. It has a rattle inside. And each of the feet have scrunchy sounds. And they're very smooth and tactile. Different colors and experiences. And then what's cool is you open it up and it's a book. So anytime you can find things that do tricks, teach multiple things. So this is teaching about ladybug, ladybug, fly through the air. And it has different sensorial um, experiences throughout the book. Zoom here and zoom there. And there's a rainbow. You can talk about the colors. Um, talks about seeds and growing, playing hide and seek. And there's some more lift the leaf and take a peek. So it's kind of fun and interactive. Again, there's different um, tactile experiences throughout. There's ladybugs underneath. So it's not a boring uh, regular book. It's interactive and, and it's a great decoration for the room as well. They can you know, use it as a pillow for goodness sake. So that's pretty cool. Um, this one you can carry in your bag and teach at the doctor's office, talk about colors and shapes. This one's fun, it's interactive. It says, Who's, whose ears are these? So it has this little flap here and it has an ear. And it says, who has round ears and a skinny tail and loves cheese? And that's the ear, and you open it up, and it shows it's a mouse. So, interactive books. Who hops around and keeps their babies in a pouch? And there's the ear. And you open it up, and it's a, a kangaroo. So, it's really fun and interactive, so you want to look for books like that. All right. Um, my first book of the body, so you're learning about body parts in sensorial. You want to teach about the body, the senses, different things. So this talks about hands and fingers and feet and toes, okay, and your different abilities. A book of colors, again, something to put in the bag, take it around, book for red, Here's a book of shapes, okay, and then this one is colors, and it's lowercase, which is nice because they can learn to read that. This is a fun book of colors because you can lay on the floor and stretch it out and talk about the colors in the pictures, make it interactive and fun. So it has the, the color the picture, and then the word in lowercase. Um, this is kind of a chubby book, and it's um, got soft and fuzzy on every page, and it's in lowercase, so they can use this as a beginning reader. Um, shiny, and there's more fuzzy for a baby monkey. Okay, and there's some splish, splash, squirt. And there's fuzzy and shiny. So it's pretty cool. This one's bumpy. So that's a neat book. Here's another one that you can fit in your bag and rotate on the shelf. Little puppy. And it's just got the front side that's got a tactile experience. But again, your sensorial sections are all about the tactile uh, sensory experience. This one's talking about animals and being soft, being hairy being fluffy. So they're learning vocabulary. That's another very important act. Smooth, furry. Okay, here's another one that's sensorial touch and feel by DK. And it's the puppy, his chest, the ear, silky, fuzzy, slipper, rubbery. And the last one here, Pat Them Gentle. This book is by Baby Piggy Toes Press. It's an older book. I don't know if they're still around, but it's a great um, sensorial experience. 
Please don't dare chase, hit, or scare. Pat them gently. So it also is teaching care of a pet. Say a quiet hello and be very slow. Pat them gently. Stroke their soft fur and they'll love you for sure. Pat them gently. So it's also teaching care of a pet and how to treat them gently and not scare them. So I would say use a variety of books. You don't have to put them all out on the shelf at the same time, but when you're showing uh, using the sound bottles, you might want to bring out the whose ears are these at nap time and just tie it in with the lessons that you're teaching for that day. And a ladybug, after you talk about the ladybug and read this, go outside and look for ladybugs in the spring. I hope that was helpful. Have loads of fun and enjoy teaching your child. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it.